If a person's injured, an insurance adjuster will usually tell them, you've got to give me a recorded statement in order for me to process your claim. Um, basically, what they want the person to believe is, until you give me a recorded statement, uh, I can't settle your claim and I can't cut you a check. Um, a lot of people in that situation fall for that and basically trust the insurance adjuster and give that recorded statement. Uh, as an attorney who started his career um, working on the side of insurance companies for a big law firm, I can tell you that insurance adjusters receive intensive training on how to conduct recorded statements. And the two primary things that they want to accomplish in that recorded statement is to get the person who's giving the recorded statement to say, it could have been my fault, or I'm not that injured. Um, and the reason why they want people to say that is, is that if they lowball a person and the person has to go hire an attorney later, they want to use that recorded statement against the person. They want to basically say, look, here's what you told us after the incident. And now that you've got an attorney, you're saying something different. So that's something that I have experienced so many times when I've looked at recorded statements. And a lot of people um, who give that type of recorded statement are just nice people. I mean, they don't want to blame somebody else because it's not in their DNA to blame somebody else, even though it wasn't their fault. So I have very few instances where I can say I've found a client lying to me about anything, but there are often times where clients who were unknowingly outwitted by insurance adjusters and gave a statement that really did hurt them uh, down the road. It's very hard to undo. So uh, the question that is presented is, should I give a recorded statement? And the answer is almost universally, no, you should not. If there is a need to give a recorded statement and I'm representing someone, I will ask the adjuster to write out the questions and we'll respond to the questions in writing. I don't want any tape uh, of my client giving a statement until we're actually in litigation because one recorded statement over here and a deposition over here can be compared and innocent inconsistencies can be used against my client, which I want to avoid at all costs. Been through hell? Call heavens 24-7, 304-787-7777.